Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Dogs the Ball, Bob Bill for Theme Park News and welcome to a Coaster Chow review. This is from 13 at the Alton Towers Resort. Now it's approaching 10 years old. Um, actually no, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's 10 years old. I was kind of thinking 20, but no, I'm thinking 2000. No, it's 10 years old, definitely. Uh, opened in 2010 uh, in the new Dark Forest section, of course the re-theme of Ugland. Um, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, let's get into this video. So, 13 opened in 2010. It was on the former site of the iconic corkscrew roller coaster that last operated in the 2008 season. Now, there were original rumours that the name was going to be Surrender. However, those rumours were quickly squashed as the name 13 was announced just a couple of months after those rumours were made public. Uh, 13 is an Intamin manufactured roller coaster. It's got uh, no inversions. It's a family thrill coaster with loads of twists and turns through the forest, including a world's first element. Uh, and of course, that one I'm going to be keeping very secret for those of you who don't want to know what the experience is. Now, 13, I've got. To, I'm not going to lie. It is a fantastic looking coaster. Many people say it's a marketing failure. Um, I feel like, yes, they marketed it scarier than the actual ride is. Uh, same with Nemesis Sub Terror a couple of years later. I feel like they haven't learned the lessons. Well, they didn't learn the lessons. I th Many people think they didn't learn the lessons uh, from the 13 uh, marketing conundrum. But I feel like both attractions, both 13 and Sub Terror, were still intense in their own way. Uh, I think 13 is marketed scarily just for the fact that it's intense for families. Uh, Nemesis Subterra again, uh, 1.4 meter height restriction. I feel was a bit in, bit in, too intense, but you know, I think with the intenseness of the experience, I feel like, um, you know, I feel like that one kind of, you know, justified the restriction, if you know what I mean. But with 13, I feel like the the marketing was done to make it scary for a family thrill audience. I feel like it was really scary in the marketing. Uh, but I feel like because it was a family thrill coaster, we've got to remember it's a family thrill coaster. Um, I feel like the family thrill market did feel it was all right in terms of scariness, even though it was scarier in the marketing. Uh, so I feel like those coaster enthusiasts were quite disappointed with how unscary the ride was in general because of the really intense marketing campaign for it. You know, there was a post watershed advert for it. Um, you know, there was a normal advert and then they did a post watershed advert. So. You know, that's how scary they wanted to market the ride. And I feel like the scariness sort of toned down in the actual ride experience. Obviously, the world's first element. I'm not going to give anything away about that. But all I can say is, it is a great element. It's a world's first for Alton Towers. It's a world's first uh, for the country. You know, before other coasters came in like that. You know, Polar Explorer, The Bolton. Um, you know, different coasters like that. I feel like... That you know, 13 paved the way for those type of roller coasters. Obviously, without the launch, but they did pave the way for that world first element. Um, the queue line itself is actually quite intense, especially in the indoor bit towards the station as you're coming into the actual station building itself. Um, I feel like there's a real sense of, of tense and atmospheric uh, disturbance. Uh, especially with, especially in the outside bit, uh, you sort of walking past that van with all the vines tangled around it I feel like that's a pretty cool section a pretty cool section of the queue line because you could literally take loads of good pictures of that van and how it's been vandalized by the forest and the forest has taken over kind of like the thing with Rita by the way the forest has been taken over uh, and by the way I'm not going to do a review of Rita yet uh, I'm actually going to hold off on that because I, I spoke about it in a separate video a couple of days ago a day or two ago uh, that rumors of it closing so I think once it's confirmed to be closing uh, if they are going to confirm it next year, if the rumour is not just a rumour and it's actual confirmed information, if Rita is set to go in the next couple of years, I'll do a review once it's been confirmed to close. So I give you guys my overall thoughts, especially if it's still going to operate next year. I want to try and get my last rides on it if it's going to be removed at some point in the near future. Uh, um, make sure you go check out that video, by the way, for the rumour on Rita closing. Just a rumour at this point. Uh, but... In terms of 13's queue line, like I said, it's like the forest taking over, like the Rita theme. Uh, the station bit is my favourite bit because you've got the the like the bolt of lightning 
uh, which is like a very good uh, shock scare, like a jump scare, kind of like you're in a scare maze, like Terror of the Towers or something. Um, and I feel like the actual, the, the, you know the, the voiceover guy who said, pull down your lap bars and hold on tightly. You know, he, he does it in a really creepy way. It's like the Oblivion guy, for goodness sakes. But it's just a really creepy Tannoy announcement. It's like, pull down your lap bars and hold on tightly. And as you exit the ride, please, please raise your lap bars and move over to the right. There is no escape to the left. <laughs> Um, just a really cool Tannoy announcement guy on that. Um, the voice on it is incredible, and of course as you're leaving the station, if you go down to the woods today, you better not go alone. Uh, as you leave the station and go up that lift hill, uh, just the anticipation uh, from that voice. I always, it's a family thrill coaster, but I always get that chill when that voice comes on and the train dispatches out of the station. I always get that anticipation with the rides, so you know, I feel like it's definitely a fantastic experience. I feel like it's a great ride, uh, a brilliant, brilliant roller coaster, and I feel like uh, the Old Towns have done this ride proud. And I think it's going to stay for at least another 40 years, at least 50 years maximum. Uh, I feel like, you know, I think it'll maybe outlast the century. But I'm not going to confirm closures at this point because I feel like this ride's just got so much life left in it. It's fantastic. Uh, so thank you very much for watching this Coast Chat review of 13 Alton Towers. Like I've said in the past with these reviews recently, I'm not going to be grading them. I'm just going to be talking about the rides because it's just more fun not grading them and reviewing and like sort of like picking out the negatives and the positives. But just seeing the overall outlook of the ride and just just talking about the ride because talking about it instead of grading it makes it more enjoyable so thank you very much for watching this review of 13 Alton Towers make sure you like comment subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a youtube video and for now guys my name is Coach Shell, kill it on the coast of life and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care have an awesome day friends